Hello everyone! In this video I want to show you how to put such type of metal locks on your crochet bags and give you some useful tips. Such a lock contains two parts. This part is for a bag body and this one for a flap. Let's start from the flap part. We need to find the middle of the flap, of course. And push the edge of the flap inside this lock part. But in most cases the thickness of the bag is larger than the hole in the lock. Therefore we need to take scissors or something else that can help you and use it to gently push the edge of the flap into the hole. Do it a little from one side and a little from another side, until it's done. Then we insert the small screws that are included in the kit of the lock and twist them. I use a small screwdriver. Now we are moving to the other part of the lock. This one we will attach to the back body, in the middle of it. This part also has two parts. First, I'll tell you how it should ideally be. So we have here such metal horns, or what it's called. We insert them through the back. From inside the bag we put this flat metal part, press it firmly and bend the metal horns to fix it. This is how it should be ideally. But in most cases when you crochet bags with t-shirt yarn or polyester cord, these metal horns are too short and you won't be able to bend them from inside the bag. Therefore I will show you now how you can deal with it. We take two or four pieces of the yarn, around 20-25 cm each. I will take four pieces now, because my lock is quite big. Then we put them like this. Then the flat metal part Press it firmly and bend the metal horns You can also use pliers to bend them even stronger But use some piece of fabric between the lock and the pliers to protect the lock from scratches
Then we attach this lock part to the back and pull out the yarn tips through the back from inside using a hook or a needle. Tie the yarn tips and hide them under the stitches inside the back. You can use your hook for that or a needle with a big eye. Just push every yarn tip under the nearest stitches in different directions. and cut the rest of them. That's all! So whatever bags you crochet, if you want to use this type of lock, I hope these tips will help you to avoid any problems with it. If you liked the video, please leave your thumbs up, subscribe and click on the bell to be the first to know about new videos on my channel. Thank you for watching! See you!